welcome to Ponder This on Friday, end of the week. <laughs> and as always, I invite you, I want to tell you about Messenger Church. Of course, we've been around here in Fenton for 75 plus years. Now, I've not been here that long, all right? But I've, I've been here a long time. And, and in that 75 year history of this church, there's been one desire or one main desire, and that is to draw people into the presence of God, to draw people into a place to where the moment they walk in this house, they know it's all about God. It's all about him. He has the answer. He has the direction. He has the encouragement. He is what we are all about. Not about me, not about our great uh, musical staff and the worship that they present every service, it's, and though they are so important because that praise and that worship enhances the move of God. And as good as that is, it's all about Jesus. It's all about his presence. And that's what we're about because we believe that Jesus is still the answer. Many, many years ago, I used to do citywide meetings. Some of them were tent crusades had a large platform and the back of that platform with this long white curtain. And on that white curtain was these red letters that said, Christ is the answer. And we set that thing up and we did those meetings in various towns around the South and in some Midwest. That was my focus then. And that's my focus now. Christ is still the answer. That's what Messenger Church is all about. So we'd love to invite you to come and be with us Sunday morning at 10 a.m. As a matter of fact, on that particular Sunday, we are going to be having a tremendous, tremendous time in God's presence for we're going to enjoy the ministry of evangelist Kevin Powers. He and his wife, Veronica, will be ministering in a time of refreshing morning and night. We don't have night services. We have prayer meetings on a regular basis on Sunday night. We have two classes of instruction in the Word of God. But at 6 o'clock, the powers will be ministering. Kevin is a tremendous man that, that locks into God's Word, teaches that Word, the anointing moves, the gifts of the Spirit are manifested. People are filled and healed. Amen. Love to have you to come and be a part of what is going to be happening on the 20th at 10 a.m. and 6 p.m. We want you there. So make your plans. Come, 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 come and be with us. No doubt in my mind, you will be blessed. All right. So remember that. Come and share with us at Messenger Church. Let's get into our thought. Complacency, which is defined as self-satisfaction, is the death nail for the church. We are all, or should be, in the process of becoming what God has destined us to become. A.W. Tozer, one of my favorite authors, said it so well. To be has taken the place of to become. The worst that can be said of such a man is that he is what he will be. Never, never, and I say this, never settle for where you are. There is, now hear this, there is always more ahead. Now let me step back here and let me add this to that. Never settle for where you are, good or bad, great or not great because there's always more of head. It doesn't matter. And I, and I praise God for what you've accomplished. I praise God for your history. We all have a history. If you've been that soul winner, you've been that person of faith, you've walked in righteousness, I compliment you and I praise God for you, but do not settle for what you've done. There's always more to do. As long as there's one person lost that doesn't know Jesus Christ, as long as there's one person sick that doesn't know they can be healed, as long as there's one person bound that doesn't know they can be free, you have a ministry God is expecting you to function in. So don't settle. Don't settle. There's always more we can be and always more we can become 
through the grace and the greatness of God. Ponder it. Think on it. God bless you. Hey, Sunday, I'm going to be looking for you. I'll see you then. Go in God's blessings. <laughs>